Okay, so with that, I'm going to actually do a big risk here. I am actually going to use Bowser's Dice Block. Now, see, this is still kind of risky. The only reason I want to use it is because no matter what, Rosalina should be able to get the key. And she'll at least have like some extra allies to move a little bit. Even if I get a zero, she has a good chance of landing on the um, uh, the mushroom spaces, the item spaces. So she'll be at least be able to get an item of sorts. And maybe I'll get an item too if I get a, a very low roll. But we're going to go ahead and use this. Just see if I can get back to where I was since I did get kind of screwed over by the um, freaking cannonball, whatever. Ooh! Ooh, that was bad. We both rolled zero. This is not good. I'm going to move one space. <laughs> Rosalina does get the key, which is nice, but... Um, just the fact that I'm only right there is not great. I was really hoping she... She actually used Diddy Kong's dice block. I was like, wait, what dice block did she even use? But no, she used Diddy Kong's, which I would have not used. Like, that, that's why I wish I had some kind of control over the CPUs and what they use as dice blocks or where they move, because I would have not used Diddy's dice block there. Oh! Well, Monty Mole found the hidden block, which is not good. And he gets a star from it! What the hell? That's a bit obnoxious. I do not like that at all. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Fruit four cap. We literally played this two turns ago, game. Maybe it was three turns ago. Yeah, I think this is like the second turn mini game. This was a little longer ago than that, but still. Thing is, I actually got the same. We got the same positions, but the other team didn't. Because I, I know I had Waluigi on my side last time. Oh man, this was actually a lot closer this time. We still won, but not by much. Okay, let's get back here. I can't believe it's turn six already. Anyway, we have we have the key, which is good. Um, let me actually check something. How many spaces am I away from the treasure chest? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I get like a nine or ten, I can still potentially get over there and get that if I need to. But I kind of want to keep trying to get over there. How many spaces is she away from Boo? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Honestly, I might go ahead and just roll my normal die, or just the normal dice block for now. And then I'll roll the other one later. Because I, I don't want her to get messed up. Stop using Diddy Kongs! <laughs> Okay, we're fine. In fact, that actually helped me out, so... Oh, and she actually got the star, too. Wow. Okay, never mind, Rosalina. You can make all the decisions from now on. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! Oh, my God. Oh, wait. I had an exact 10, too. I could have... I'm dumb. I should have actually went for the chest instead. 
I was just getting really greedy and wanted Boo on my team. Or not Boo, Wario. Okay, well, Rosalina... Rosalina's the champ right now. Rosalina's... <laughs> really coming through right now. She has three allies, and she's gotten both of our stars. And I had the nerve to doubt her using the Diddy Kong block. Honestly, it was probably smarter she used that there. Because since I was not using Bowser's Dice Block, if she used it with Bowser's Dice Block, we'd have the chance for basically two low rolls. And I wanted to make sure she got Boo more than anything, but... We made it work, we made it work. Okay, so the star appeared there. I don't know if, who's closer to that, honestly. Actually, I think I am. because Yeah, because the Womp is facing the other direction. So they're going to... Well, they're gonna go get some other spaces. That's unfortunate. Man, I, I really did bad on that last try. I should have should have realized that I got a ten, so I should have went for the chest. Well, that was mean. Can't believe you'd do that. Okay, so... Try Carter. Okay, this is a new game we haven't played yet. It's also a uh, motion control game. You see the way that the uh, hand icon is moving on the top right? That's basically what you do. You just kind of shake the uh, Joy-Con in a very crazy motion. Now, I actually had a lot of issues doing this the way, like, mimicking the hand. So, honestly, I just kind of, like put my arm forward and just shake the Joy-Con like mad. That's basically what I do to win this game. I hate doing that because it's kind of like, it's like, oh, I'm playing Mario Party 8, where like a majority of the games in that game are just waggling the Three, Wiimote. Two, but one, I honestly go. can't win this game otherwise. Okay, well... Thankfully, we won. A new record. Okay, so... What are we going to do? I think I am going to try to use Bowser's Dice Block again, though. Let's go! Honestly, if Rosalina used Wario's, that would actually... Or, Boo's, not Wario's. They both have, like, very good dice blocks that are very similar, which is why I say that. Thank you! Okay, that's perfect. That is really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to be able to make a lot of progress for this star. I'm going to go ahead and get this item space. <laughs> I don't know why Rosalina's moving in that fashion. I'm, I'm wondering if she's maybe hoping that I'll, like, move the th womp. Which I will, it's just... She's not going to be able to get the star. Before, like, I'd have a better chance to get the star at this point. Uh, I get a poison mushroom so I can slow down my opponents a little bit. I might do that to whoever gets closer. Oh, that's kind of nice. She's kind of, like, bouncing on him. Monty Mole taking away some of their coins. And we get the Peepa Bell, which you call Peepa to take one coin away from uh, another player. And it basically, it kind of haunts them where, like, every square they move uh, with their roll, they'll actually lose a coin. So it can be a pretty uh, dastardly item to use against other players, especially if they have the potential for high dice rolls. Okay, so more... Waluigi's gonna get 16. I see what they're doing. Okay, they're trying to get over there to get that uh, star. That's mean. It's okay though. We can we can do some. I mean, we have the slow shroom and we have the peeper though. Oh, there's some more coins there. That's not good. 
So yeah, that special event's gonna move Womp. So now they can get over there. They're not gonna be able to get Wario though, which is the most important thing. But the star, they can very much get that. Half the battle, I believe this is another, yep, I remember this. Uh, join halves of the crests. So this game, you basically pick up these little icons and you bring them together with your partners. And if you get multiple, um, you'll give them to your teammates and then you can also actually like get multiple done at the same time. This is kind of one of those games where the first time I played this game, like this entire game, I actually kind of forgot about this minigame's existence. It's kind of a... It's kind of forgettable, but it's not a bad game. I do like this game as a team-based minigame. It's just I kind of forgot about it when I first played this game. <laughs> But yeah, we have we, we have allies, so we can actually be more efficient in this game. And we can, you know, get more of these pieces. Also pieces. Oh crap. Come on, hurry up. There we go. So for every two we get, they only get one, so. We have the easy advantage here. Yeah, not that it's impossible to win when you, like, don't have allies or anything like that. It's just... Again, you have to be, like, very quick and almost need to kind of change your strategy a bit. Okay, so Team Bowser wins. Oh, yeah, Team Bowser. The Bows. The Bows and the Lena. Bowsalina. <laughs> okay. Next up, we need to get moving. I okay. We do need to use. Hmm. I'm hoping that she uses the Peepa Bell. I'm gonna use that on Monty Mole to make him go slower here. Hopefully she uses the peep about. Actually, I hope she doesn't now, because then, whatever. I'm just gonna use normal. My main goal right now is to pick up Wario. Wario is the more important thing. Okay, she is using the peep about. I hope she uses it on Waluigi though. Oh shoot. They're not gonna lose very many coins then. That was kind of a misplay. We'll see what happens. Four. Four. Okay, cool. We get the matching bonus. And that's a pretty decent movement as well. Oh, wow. We, we might actually both get the star, which is perfect. Okay, where will I go if I... Okay, I'll land on this. Which, that could honestly help. Are there any other spaces I can land on? I could land on... I can't land on that. Let, let's just go over there. We, we can both potentially get the star, which that would help tremendously. Plus, we got Wario, another one of the best dice blocks in the game. So, we have a really good team comp right now, I think. On my team, I have two really good dice blocks. And... Um, Oh shoot, that's actually not good, because that's going to just change him back over there. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, like I have two really good dice blocks on my team, and then Rosalina has three allies, so... This is actually really good for us. Okay, let's see what happens. I really should have used the... I really should have used the Peepa Bell first. I should have used it on Waluigi. Okay, well, we'll still lose some coins. I don't think they can get... Oh, they can't. Oh, no! Okay, I did move the Womp. Okay, the Womp got... Okay. Oh, they got a Golden Pipe, though. That's annoying. So we have to get that. Well, see, no matter what, they're just going to go to the star next turn anyway. When it moves. That's a little obnoxious. 
see what happens though. Hey, it's Maths of Glory again. I swear, this game always frickin' appears for me. Okay. One, two... There we go. Oh, wow. 36, right from the get-go. They get a 20, which is not bad. I mean, they, they're basically in range of sniping us as well. It's just we have a better chance to snipe them. Okay, well that's okay. We kind of broke even a little bit. They got more, but still, we only need like a three times three to get them. Finish. One time we did have a game where it's like we got. We had we got in some unfortunate roles where like someone rolled over to a one as opposed to a six, and we actually won when they only had like one block left. It's like oh my god, we have just a door, <laughs> but they have nothing, so we still win. Okay, so there we go. So since we're both right here, we both have the potential of landing on the star space. Uh, we have to get, like, this right rolls, though. Like, I need to get an even number, and then Rosalina needs to get an odd number. There's not really a great way we can fix this. I mean, there might be, like, some dice blocks that'll have, like, a better chance of doing that than others. But it it's still gonna essentially come down to luck, pretty much. So I got... Wow! I think we did it. Yeah, we did. And uh, one cool thing about this mode is uh, if you can get to a space, uh, the game will actually automate the path for you, which is really, really nice. So, like, if there's, like, can I get to this space? You don't have to do all the math in your head. You can just go to it and say, oh, I can. Let me just click on this, and it'll auto-path for you. Now, there may be, like, some paths that are better to go to than others still, but, again, that's just kind of dependent on the situation more than anything. You got a star. So yay, I got a star after all. My plan to go the top route actually paid off. I hate that I got sent back twice when I was at the end of the path, but hey, it is what it is. And Rosalina pretty much does the same thing. And Look at how many allies are in this little section. There's like... Seven characters in this little alcove, which is pretty crazy. We're literally having our own little private party over here. You gotta stop. Yeah, we do. Yeah, good job, Rosalina. We did it. Now let's kick some ass. Bowser would totally talk that way, by the way. Okay, so where's the star gonna go? Oh, and we land on the same space if we get some extra coins for doing that. Not much, but still. Teamwork at its finest. Okay, so where's Todak gonna go? She's gonna go back to the right side. I think they're technically closer to that. Oh yeah, they are. They don't have to go like through that. Ooh. Waluigi's still gonna use the gold pipe. I don't know if I would do that. Honestly, if I were Waluigi, I would have used the gold mushroom. And then Monty Mole would have used the pipe. Because he could have actually gotten to there with just a golden mushroom roll. They kind of got the item usage back and backwards here. Because they need to realize that, you know, they don't have any allies. And look, Waluigi won't even... I mean, I criticize that move, but at the same time, it's still going to end up working to their advantage. Which is pretty dumb, but what can you do? Lit Potato! 
another team-based minigame. I like how we're getting all of these now for some reason. Uh, but this game, if you remember Hot bob from Mario Party 1 and 2, it's kind of like this. Don't get caught with the bob -omb. It's actually similar to a game in Mario Party 7 as well, one of the eight-player games. But yeah, you basically uh, toss a bomb to the player next to you, and uh, whatever team has more members or all their members at the end wins. I wouldn't say it's luck-based, but when you're playing with, like, CPUs, it's kind of hard to really... Like, we, we lost all allies of ours, so it's tricky. Damn. No! Wow, this just, like, worked out for them completely. They got really lucky there. <laughs> I mean, we had more members to destroy than they did, but it's just unfortunate that we couldn't really get the upper hand in that game. Probably one of my least favorite games, if I'm being honest. I much prefer the, like, uh, being able to choose, like, which way you want to throw it. And, like, hot bob on. Okay, so we're kind of in a position where we uh, need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my dice block. Because, I mean, that star is pretty much out of our reach anyway. But with allies, we won't be able to... Like, we'll have at least some kind of movement here. Okay, let me see where Rosalina's going to go. Okay, she's going to go back out that way. I might as well do this, honestly. Rumble minigame. Damn it, not Rumble Wave. I suck at this game, seriously. I get too nervous about waiting to the strongest rumble because then I feel like I might go over and then it's just I hit it too early as a result. Oh no! Well, it's not a very bad luck space. That could have been a lot worse. kind of sucky. If they both get the star here, we'll actually not be in first place. Well, they both didn't get the star, which is funny. <laughs> but they're going to land in the same space, so... They don't get the bonus, though? Huh. Maybe they don't do that for CPU players. That's interesting. Okay, perfect fit. Start. There we go. Finish. Got a little confused on that last one, but we made it work. Ready? 